So, after the Las Vegas mass shooting, this gentleman came out on the news and explained that he was going to destroy his uh, rifle because that is the best thing to do and he's doing his little share about uh you know avoiding more mass casualties and uh and I guess I understand the the meaning behind it and why have... why he thinks that that's the right thing to do but it, I, to me that's dumb okay so I don't understand why these uh these people think that because banning something is gonna stop it. Just because you enact a law doesn't mean it's gonna stop. Well, that's why we have police, right? Because we are law enforcement. We have to enforce those laws because we know the human behavior is going to be well. If somebody bans something that I like to do, I'm gonna do it anyway, right? So the, and then that's where we come. And we arrest people, take them to jail, and do all that, all that good work, right? So I, I don't understand why they people think that banning weapons is going to eliminate the weapons out of the United States automatically. Well, and, and it's a pretty simple example, and I don't, I don't understand why they don't think about this shit. Uh, there are certain drugs that are banned, okay? Cocaine is banned. Well, there's still cocaine out on the streets. We catch them all the time, right? You and me, we do traffic stops. We go inside a house. Then we see the cocaine uh, on, on the table or a, a package in, inside a vehicle, etc. So there's millions and billions and billions of dollars going to drug cartels in Mexico and Colombia and all these fucking countries. But because we enacted a law, they think that that's automatic. Okay, we enacted a law. Well, this uh, criminal... Oh, well, I guess we cannot do it anymore, right? Well, no, it's, it doesn't work like that, okay? But so let's let's hear the mentality of this guy. I can't have something in my house that so easily could become a part of another situation like that, and I'm not... Okay, so how is that going to become part of a situation like that of a mass shooting? Unless you're going to do it yourself, buddy, then that that's the only way. If you don't secure your weapons, that's another way. So there you go, two preventable ways. Don't do shit like that. Don't do mass shootings. Or number two, secure your weapons and not, nothing like that is going to happen. not going to get desensitized to it. I refuse to. When I read the thing about the school in Northern California, I cried and I haven't felt good since. And although I'm still sad for all those victims and all the people affected, I feel like I've done the only thing I could do in this equation. And let me give you an example. This happened close by here where I live. So there's that mass shooting in Texas where this crazy dude walks into the church and starts killing people. I don't, unfortunately, people die, and I hate that when, when that happens, right? But the citizen that was armed across the street, he went inside his safe, loaded his weapon, and started pursuing this criminal. Okay, so again, yes, weapons were used to unfortunately uh, kill people but again weapons were used to eliminate and stop the threat so that that's where with the um these these people that they never use weapons or they don't know how they work trying to tell us well that's not good for you how do you know it's not good for me if you never use it okay so please let me know what do you think share comment follow me on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Okay, guys? So in the meantime, be safe and watch your six.